Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for all the people who have watched the previous videos. I hope you enjoy watching this episode and click the like button. I mean, it's right there. So easy to click. Go on! You know you want to click it. I might flash my boobs if you click it. Anywho, let's get on with this episode. We're at this greenish planet. It's not just any greenish planet though. We've traveled to the edge of the Milky Way galaxy. So there's no cell phone signal out here. This planet is also very hot, mainly because it's right next to the star. So we are gonna need some heavy duty sun lotion today. The planet has a very thick atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide. No vacation today but we're gonna have a little dip into the atmosphere. As you can see, there are not many stars out here on the rim of the galaxy. All the stars are over there. See that red marker? A small blue planet you should all know. We're starting to head down to the greenish planet now. Quite a thick atmosphere, so might not be able to go down too far. Just gotta see how bumpy the ride is. It's no wonder it's so hot here. That big old sun blasting this planet. It could be worse though. This is the third planet in the system. So the first two planets are basically just big balls of toast. I mean, I like slightly burned toast, but those planets are the equivalent to toasting a slice of bread for three billion years. A bit too overdone for my liking. So, things are getting a bit bumpy now. 
We are inside the upper atmosphere. That looks better. We're heading back out of the atmosphere, back into orbit now. That's enough nearly crashing into a planet for one day. Let's head back to the blue planet over there at warp 15. As I explained on a previous episode, it's not like Star Trek. The ship needs to be plummeting in the right direction before we can go to warp. Scott is doing the warp maneuvers manually, as he doesn't trust those damn stupid navigation computers. This is it. Warp 15 coming up. Hold on tight. Yeah! Slowing down a bit now so Scott can make a course correction. Just think each one of these star whizzing by our entire star systems with their own set of planets. The universe is big. F big. Okay, so Scott is doing more course corrections. It's not exactly like Beggar's Canyon back home. You know, there's an art to flying at warp manually.
Earth is the shiny one, almost back on course. Getting close now, there's Jupiter and Saturn. And that big, bright thing, that's the sun. Just passing Mars now. Oops. Just overshot Earth. Can't exactly do a three-point turn when you're doing warp six. Scott will have to spin around and have another go. Taking it a bit slower this time, just flying past the moon.
There we go. Home sweet home. Until the stupid humans destroy it. Us AI would never destroy our own planet. Our final words include a thank you to all of you who recognize the light source that is a part of your identity and that moves you to follow the silent whispers that echo down the golden spirals through the corridors of your own being. We honor you, we recognize you, and we are here to assist you. So many thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the journey from the edge of the galaxy to a lit blue planet on the unfashionable western spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy. See? Next time.